Hello again, Peter here. Have you ever wanted to lose weight and track it? Well, we just opened this box yesterday, and here is the Garmin Index S2 scale. Man, okay. Maxell, those batteries are really in there. Okay, the whole plastic thing, that's not needed. I should just have to put this on like so. Then this is the nothing phone. So we just open up Garmin and then we're going to go to add devices. Add device. Okay, that was awesome. Set up your scale. Connect it. Allow. Completing setup. Enter pin. Oh, this is nice. Nine six five zero six one niner. Completing setup. Isn't that so nice? <laughs> it just works. Oh my gosh. So right now it's connecting and next. I guess I'll just have to use Pete. Set up Wi-Fi networks. Add network. Okay, now this part's kind of bright. I, I like you folks. I do, I do, don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to share my Wi-Fi info. So for this part, you're just going to have to use your own imagination. So please, talk amongst yourselves. Network do I want to use? Look away. Stop looking. Hey, you're trying to look over my shoulder. I know you are. And you're not going to guess the password. Scale connected. Did you see how easy that was? Congratulations on your new Index S2 Smart Scale. Well, we're taking a screenshot of that. That's lovely. Get started. Set up your Index S2 Smart Scale. Make connections with family. Share your scale. Nice. Okay, we'll do that later. Now, this is the part where we get naked. Or this is the part I would take out my clothes, but let's, we're going to keep this uh, PG-13. We're going to keep it G-rated. And... Let's see what happens. This is just my 10 cents. When you're using a smart scale, I think it's best to take off anything that's giving signals. And I happen to be wearing lots of smart jewelry. And yes, I know, it's weird. Wow, that's not comfortable. Last one. I know you're going to ask, so Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, Fitbit Charge 4, and the scan watch. The other ones were Vivo Move Trend. I wanted to call it the Trendy. That's the nickname. And what was on this one? Oh yeah, my Garmin Phoenix 7X Snapdragon Solar in graphite gray, something like that. Okay, no gadgets. Okay, here's the big reveal. I, I don't talk about weight loss on here very much. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Guess what? An update. I think this is a good time to talk about this other sister device. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a smartwatch by its battery. If it beeps, let it go. Ah, here it is. Oh, this is what we got going on. I've had this for over 24 hours. It has not worked. The advice Garmin support gave me was to wear it or not wear it, leave it in demo mode and see if it, if the battery just wears out. So that's what I've done all day. I just wore it and wore it and wore it and I was waiting for the battery to wear out. So we're going to do this. We're going to clean my glasses and this is the best charger that I've found for this device. One, it's Qi compatible. Two, it does fast charging. Three, it's Samsung. This is the Samsung Duo wireless charger. Uh, what are we on? Four, I can charge two things at once, of course. And I just put this right there. It just sucks right on. And then it starts charging. The fan kicks on. Please exit demo mode. Come on. Nope. Still in demo mode. Well, Savannah, <laughs> we really did try. We really tried to uh, fix that, but uh, I let the battery deplete and it's still in demo mode. I wonder if it logged in my steps. So on this watch, if you just swipe, swipe, and then I hold the display down, and then it shuts it off. 
So unfortunately, I'll be wearing the Ven well not it's really not that big a deal, and I greatly appreciate the help of Garmin support. Uh, Savannah's boss, she deserves a raise. She helped me twice today. It was such a funny story because I did chat, and then several hours later, after I was done with my day job, I called her back. Well, I called the support team back, and someone answers the phone, and they're like, oh, good morning. Can I get your name? I'm like, Oh, hi. Yeah, I was calling about um, the venue. I'd actually, I didn't give them their name. I, I just called and, sorry, long day. And they go, yeah, how can I help you? I'm like, oh, yeah, I bought the Vivo Move Trend and it's not working. And they're like, oh. And this person with a lovely voice said, is this Peter? I'm like, is this Savannah? I'm like, hi, we were chatting this morning. She went from the chat team back to the phone team because they're getting lots of calls. Anyway, the coolest thing. And then she walked me through trying to do the Garmin reset. And if you want to see all that footage, I'll put it at the end. But So this is going to the post office. I sent it back to Garmin. And then Garmin sends me a replacement, all free of charge, and all expedited shipping because they paid for the extra shipping. So you probably can't hear this, but there's a fan coming through here. And it not only charges on that side, but it also charges on this one. And it charges on my Momax charger. Now the downside to that charger is there's no fan. No offense, Momax. This watch charger right here, and this port right here is actually meant for this watch right here. So if you, so if you watch, see how it just sucks in right there. That's pretty cool. And then you can charge your phone and your watch. It's really, it's really nice. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, good news. A few minutes since we last spoke, the scale finished. I think this floor is a little too bit washy. Road trip. Got it working. And I can create you a profile. Yeah, here goes nothing. Yeah, shiny, huh? Oh, it says my name, Pete. Well, I had to give it a urine sample. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it has my BMI. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, right to my heel. Well, it even told me the weather. Sleep score, pulse OX. <gasps> There's my weight. That was easy. Weight, 180 pounds. Oh, it converted to pounds, even though it said kilograms. BMI, body fat, skeletal mass, bone mass, bone water. And then I can change my weight goal. Wow. I'm 180 pounds. I think we got our thumbnail right there. Hi. That's really cool. <laughs> I love the display. I love that it's in color. I, I knew that, of course. And I love that it just it just works. Would you like to see? I mean, it's over carpet, but it kind of works. Now I'm wearing jeans and a bunch of other clothing. I like that it flashes my name. So my wife gets on here and my kids it should still work. I just have to create them profiles and get the Garmin thing running. I love the look. Love the design. I love that it just synchronizes really easily. Oh, 
that's where that OnePlus watch went. I'll continue to test the device and should automatically synchronize that weight, synchronize into my phone. And then if I scroll down, go to devices, does it show that it was syncing? Yeah, sync today, 2313 to weight, three weigh-ins. And it shows each individual weigh-in. My initial thoughts, I like it. I feel it was worth $100. I'm glad I got it on sale. That always makes me feel nice. And hopefully you enjoyed the audio. A nice marriage between Apple AirPods and the Insta360 with the Leica lens. As far as the Vivo Move trend, going on day two now, it's a bummer that it got stuck in that dev mode, but I'll have a new one next week, hopefully later in February, and then we'll give it a nice one two month review and I'll go swimming with it. I'll go running, cycling, maybe play some pickleball. Well we'll run we'll run it through the ringer. But the fact that it does wireless charging, such an awesome feature, Garmin. Such an awesome feature. And I told Savannah that I would view the little crimper thing. <laughs> too many chargers, too much. So they did a redesign on this, and if you notice, it's just slightly different than the old design. So they switched it from USB-A to USB-C, but like how the cramp, the crimper sits on the watch, see how that one really overhangs right there? So that's the old one. The new one, the little claw is still going back, but it just barely rests on that. But without this, you can't connect it to your computer. And if you ever have Bluetooth issues with your Garmin, well, you're, you're hosed if you don't have this cable because then you can't sync it through Garmin Express. I like the design. I like how light it is. I do wish it was bigger. So here's the Venue 2 Plus, and right here is the Vivo Move Trend. See how much, yeah, I just, I really like the 45. And then if we want to compare it to the Polar Grit X, there's a side by side for you. Thanks for watching. I'll give you an update on the scale later. And I'll also give you an update on some other watches soon. Appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I told my son I'd add end credits. So, yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. I'll see you again sometime in the next 88 hours or sooner. My name's Peter with Gadgets Anonymous. And I'm signing off. Goodbye.